Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a small modern house. This is the amount of space required to make your build. Feel free to make this grid in your world if you do feel as though it will help you out. And here are all of the materials that we will use throughout the build. Please do make sure that you have access to all of these. Begin by placing a row of four smooth quartz on top of the front left hand corner of your grid, if you've made it. One, two, three, four. Extend the quartz to the right by five, one, two, three, four, five. And then extend the entire row of quartz backwards by five rows. One, two, three, four, five. We then want to connect the back two corners of the quartz row down to the ground, like this. Place glass in between the pair of quartz. We also want to place glass block on the left side of the build as well, joining the front and the back corners together. It's a little bit different on the side as we don't have a row of quartz, but the entire right side of the build wants to be made out of glass block. We then want to extend the glass to the left by two rows, one, two. Add a row of glass pane inside of this, and this is the lower half of the house. From here, we are now going to work on the upper half of the build. So, grab your smooth quartz block and extend the original row of smooth quartz upwards by three rows. One, two, three. We then want to extend smooth quartz backwards along the left side of the build extending every single one of those blocks back. We then want to extend them across the back of the build by two rows, so one and then two. Place two rows of glass pane, one and two. Then place a row of smooth quartz block. Then we want to leave a gap, and then we want to have a row of glass pane once again. We then want to place a glass block in front of the glass pane extending forwards on top of the smooth quartz. We then want to extend across the front of the build by two rows. And then we want to fill this little gap in here using glass pane. So we have a little bit of variance between glass block and glass pane and it makes it look kind of cool. The next thing that we will do is place smooth quartz slabs on top of the build. So this is going to be the roof. You can also use smooth quartz block, but there's something that I like about the slabs. I think it just makes a nicer shape. So from here, we want to place smooth quartz slabs extending outwards from the entrance to the second floor. I'm going to use two. and. From here, we want to leave half a rose gap going down, and we want to place a set of cascading stairs using smooth quartz slabs like this. And you will find, as you walk up to them, you kind of just gingerly bounce up them like that. So, it works out quite nicely. So, next, we get to decorate our house a little bit. So, I'm going to add a lantern inside of the lower part of the house here. And I'm also going to hoe out some of the grassland inside here. So let's place a bit of beetroot. Let's place some carrots. And I want the back area here to be raised. So I'm just using some grass. And I'm also going to replace these blocks here with grass as well. And I'm going to grab some wheat seeds and some potato. And I'll place potatoes at the front and some wheat at the back, just like this. And I think that I'll just leave this to grow. If we grab a shovel, and I'm not sure if I like the grass path here, to be honest, or if I would prefer to simply just replace it using smooth quartz, 
that might look a little bit better. And then it might look cool to have a, just a little bit of grass path just extending in front of the build. Or, once again, it might be better just to have smooth quartz block, or maybe even nothing at all. I think it's going to be a bit of a personal choice there. But, regardless, we are going to leave this to grow. The only thing that you might want to do is just install a chest just back here, just so that you can store your stuff. As we climb up these stairs here, this is going to be the main living space, and we need a bunch of stuff for this room. So we need a bed, a chest, we need crafting table, we'll need the lantern again for a little bit of light, some smooth quartz slabs, all of the furnaces, as is my favorite, and we'll grab a painting for now. In this corner, we'll place a chest, crafting table, lantern on top, a bed next to this, and then smooth quartz slabs extending across the top wall here, and we want to place all of the furnaces just on top of the slab. A little painting here next to the furnaces. That's the precise one that I was after, so I'm quite happy about that. And then all we want to grab is an armor stand, a torch, a set of armor, which I'm going to carefully place in my inventory before I equip it. So, armor stand going to place a torch underneath it to give it a little bit of light and then we will equip it with some gold armor and if we take a look that is looking pretty good i'm almost positive that i do not like this smooth quartz here so i think i'm going to just replace that and i also want to replace the yellow and the uh, the blue concrete, so I'm simply just going to go around the build and I'll just have to replace the grass. I'm going to replace this using the smooth quartz. I think that as the entire house is kind of made out of white quartz and just like clear glass, I think that it might be better to kind of keep it just all white and all clear. I think it would look a little bit weird if we started introducing another material now, so I think that that is absolutely perfect, and hopefully you guys have managed to make this. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, please do remember to subscribe and click that little bell next to the subscription button. That'll ensure that you get all my videos sent directly to your sub box. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.